So in today's experiment, we're going to be experimenting with Bronsted-Lowry acid-base equilibriums. Now that's a really big name, Bronsted-Lowry equilibrium. The lab itself is very easy. We use spot plates, we have some acids, we have a strong acid, HCl, stronger base, NaOH. We have five indicators, five, six acids. Now the whole point of this lab is to be able to organize all of these from strongest acid to weakest acid. Now if you're really sharp, you'll notice that HCl is the strongest acid. It's going to be at the top of your list. Sodium hydroxide, the strongest base, will be at the bottom of your list. The hard part to this lab is figuring out the data table once we have it. Now, a couple equilibriums that I'll mention before we do the lab. The first equilibrium. When we add a strong acid to our indicators, of which I will give you, and I'll tell you what they are after the lab. When we add a strong acid, the equilibrium between the strong acid and the indicator. Now you'll notice above me, the equilibrium equation hopefully has popped up. Now when a strong acid, and we know it's a strong acid, it's HCl, it shifts equilibrium to the right towards the side that has H, I, and D. Well, the indicator will show a certain color. If the acid was weaker than the indicator, in this case, we use sodium hydroxide. We know it's a strong base, so it's going to be the weakest acid of all. So the indicator is going to be a stronger acid than the actual base. When that happens, equilibrium shifts towards the left, and it shifts toward the conjugate base of the indicator, and that'll be color two. Using the information we gather from the strong acid and the various indicators, the strong base and the various indicators, we can judge whether HA1, in other words, acid unknown one, is stronger or weaker than all of these indicators. Doing that, we're going to compare all of the indicators and all of the acids and finally at the end come up with a list from strongest to weakest. So let's begin. What we'll do is using a spot place we'll drop a whole bunch of acid and we'll need five spaces. Then we're going to take indicator one and put a drop in each acid. And once we put a drop in each acid we're going to zoom in and look at the colors. Okay? So indicator 1 and HCl. Notice it's a pink color. Indicator 2 and acid shows yellow. Indicator 3 and acid shows yellow. Indicator 4 in acid shows clear. Now remember, you're using this information to fill out your table. And the last indicator, we're just opening up the container, in acid shows a, a bright blue color. So that's the colors that they show in the presence of an acid. Now remember, if all of your unknown acids show the same color as the HCl, that means the acid is stronger than the indicator. So let's do the same for the base. We'll use sodium hydroxide. We know it's going to be the weakest acid because it's a strong base. So we're going to add a bit of the base into each of the spot plates. And we do the same thing. We add each indicator to the base and see the color that it is. Indicator one 
shows a yellow color. Indicator 2 in a base shows blue. Indicator 3 shows blue. Indicator 4 also shows a light blue. And lastly, indicator 5 in the presence of a base shows, ooh, look at that, a nice yellow color. So those are the colors that they show. Now what we're going to do is, because this will take a long amount of time to do all of them, we're just going to test one of the unknown acids with our various indicators, and I'll help you with it so we can approximately see what's going on. So once again, we're going to drop, put a bit of the unknown acid one into five spot plates or dimples. Now, we add indicator one. Next, indicator two. So first we'll add all the colors and then we'll go and we'll measure the results and understand what's happening. Indicator three. Indicator four. And lastly, indicator five. Now, indicator one in the presence of an acid showed pink. You'll remember that the strong acid also showed pink. Therefore, the unknown acid number one is stronger than the first indicator. Now we look at the second dimple on the spot plate. We notice it shows a yellow color. Well, the acid also showed a yellow color. Therefore, we know that the unknown acid number one is stronger, is stronger than the first indicator. We'll notice the second one, or the third indicator, also showed yellow. Remember, the acid showed yellow. Therefore, the unknown acid one is stronger than indicator three. Indicator four shows clear. The acid and this indicator showed clear, therefore, the unknown acid one is stronger. Lastly, we see a blue color. Wait a minute. The acid also showed a blue color. Therefore, the acid, unknown one, shows all the same colors as our strong acid. If it shows the same color as our strong acid did, therefore, it's stronger than all six indicators. Once an acid shows the same color as a base, that means it is weaker than the indicator. Using this information, we go through and compare all the acids and all the indicators. Now at the end of this lab, I'll show you a data table with all the results. What I'd like you to do with those results is take them, answer all the questions, and lastly, in your conclusion, note strongest acid down to the weakest acid. You'll have 6 plus 5 is 11, 12, 13. You'll have 13 items in that list. Awesome. Now get to work.